Well, welcome to today's program. I'm visiting with Bart Allen, who's the Assistant General Manager of the Salt Palace Convention Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. Bart, how are you today? We're hanging in there. Uh, hanging in there. As much as a convention center can these days, yeah. Exactly. Challenging times we're in, but uh, that's why you folks are now part of the GBAC Star Accreditation Program. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the Salt Palace, some, some key features you uh, can brag about. You know, we, we think Salt Palace is obviously the best destination for any convention in the country. Um, it's large, spacious uh, exhibit space. We've got 700 and some odd thousand square feet of exhibit space. Um, very large ballroom, very large meeting rooms. And uh, we're very excited about what our facility can do in the future. Absolutely. Uh, that's cool that uh, you're now part of the GBAC Star accreditation program. I know you guys want to get back to a normal busy schedule and that'll come very soon. Yeah. But let, let's talk about that. What was it that was a trigger for you to say we need to do this GBAC Star program? Yeah, this, this is a great question. You know, back in March, I guess, when everybody's world fall, fell apart, we um, thought about our health and safety programs and we have health and safety programs and health and safety committees and we commit hundreds of hours each year meeting, talking about uh, the way we do electrical, the way we do um, forklifts, the way we train for high lifts, the way we make sure there's nobody can trip on carpet. Um, and this was something that popped up and got through all of our armor, right? This little bug got through all of our defenses that we've set up over the last decades because it wasn't a traditional hazard. Um, and now, obviously, we are all very aware of it, and it has made us all very aware of it, absolutely. So we had to find a program and a, a standard, right? We like to standardize everything and make sure we're doing everything that professionals in their field can tell us to do to minimize risk and to keep our employees and our guests safe. We feel like that this was the best thing out there right now. This is the best program available. Well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, yeah, your, your, your staff, your visitors, you know, they'll know you're accredited and they'll feel better about that. Uh, let's talk about what you had to do to get here. Now, there's 20 elements you had to study and learn and, and apply to your facility. Do any of those stand out as especially challenging or that you feel are noteworthy to mention? You know, as we reviewed um, a, a lot of the stuff we were basically doing, but there are are a lot of things that we weren't doing, obviously. Um, we had to ramp up our, I was reading an article by Patricia Olinger, which is about GBAC, and I love some of the quotes in there. We had to make microbial warriors, to quote her, out of our staff. Um, and that's really what it is. We're trying to kill, my, my team is trying to kill a bug that's floating through the building. So we took that mindset and um, told everyone we're going to war. We got to make everyone feel safe and we're going to war. You know, the, it was kind of cool though. We got some really cool new equipment, some foggers and some cleaners and you know, everyone likes to suit up and look like they've got the level five, uh, bug mat or, uh, suit on so that they don't get infected. It was actually kind of fun to, to get us all ready and, and, uh, accredited. So, while there's a lot of in-depth thinking we had to do and policy changes, um, we actually took it in stride and, and uh, made it kind of fun. Yeah, I, I've heard that from other successful facilities like yours, that they already were doing many of the things, but there were there was some tweaking to do, some yeah. some adjustments. So no doubt that happened to you as well. Yes, and, and this lets everyone know we're doing it. A lot of people came here not knowing that, that we were mm -hmm. doing a lot of it already. Um, and this puts us all on a standard. What, this is what's expected now, I believe. This is what's going to be expected to have a, a convention and a meeting in any of these facilities. I think it's going to be very helpful. Yeah. Is there anything that you're now doing because of GBAC Star that you weren't doing before, but you are going to continue doing? Oh, absolutely. We, uh, the biggest thing is the logs we keep. Um, when we did safety training, we logged who got trained, what they got trained on. Um, we do that now on cleaning. 
who cleaned, what did they clean, and you know what chemicals did they use, what time was it done. That's just something we're going to do now. It's, it's, it's expected of us. We have to do it. It's the future. <clears throat> that it is, and it's, it's now. So let, let me ask one, one more question. As you're speaking to other convention managers, convention center managers, and they ask you, you know, Bart, should we do GBAC star accreditation? What would you tell them? You know, I would say absolutely yes, but I think you must. Um, you, you must do it. If you want your attendees and people visiting and meeting in your building to know and feel like they are safe, it's just something you have to do. It's like your health and safety programs. It's like your forklift training. We don't want people not trained to do that task, doing that task. That's, that's the way we keep everybody safe. It's the way we've traditionally kept everyone safe. This was just something we didn't see. Nobody, uh, this hit us, blindsiders. It didn't hit Patricia Olinger in her article. Uh, it didn't hit her blindsiders. She said in, a year ago, almost a year ago, tomorrow, that the world's not prepared for it. Boy, I wish I would have heard that a year ago. Well, that's why you're part of ISSA now. You'll be well informed. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And, and we keep up to date now. We read the the uh, periodicals and the information. Yeah. Well, Bart Allen, thank you very much for your time today. And one day I'll visit the Salt Palace and we'll, we'll talk in person. Great. Thank you. Right.